Hello from Espresso Engineering. I'm Steve Koster and I have a chance to catch up with Joe D'Esso of Amplifier Research. Joe, how are you doing today? Very good. I'm Joe D'Esso, VP of Marketing at AR, as uh, you said. And this year we're showcasing many new and exciting products. As shown by our monitor wall, it took uh, six people four and a half hours to put up this year. But uh, we're showcasing some very new designs and I'd like to show you one in particular. Okay, this is a, one of the revolutionary products we're displaying right now and demoing. This is a full 200 watt across the band uh, Class A amplifier that goes from 700 megahertz all the way to 6 gigahertz. One instantaneous bandwidth in one uh, packaged unit. And as you can see by the curve here, we're going well in excess of almost 300 watts at the low end of the band. This is good for radiated immunity testing for IEC standards, as well as a lot of EMC requirements. Absolutely, and with the new uh, the new standards going to six gigahertz, it matches up pretty well. Coincidence? No, I no think not. One other thing we have is uh, we have a new touchscreen display that shows the uh, power and the gain at full uh, resolution, and we're going to be putting this display on all our amplifiers higher than 100 watts. So it's a little help for people and it also looks very nice. I'd like to introduce uh, Nick Dutois, our VP of Engineering, who's going to go into more detail on some of our other new and exciting amplifier products. Nick? Thank you, Joe. I just want to point out here what is peculiar about our placard. Um, it's not orange, it's green. And that signals in a whole new era, actually, we've always been like that. We never knew that we were green. Did you know that between our efficient manufacturing process, the shrinking size of the amplifiers, and the longevity of our amplifiers, that only 3% of the carbon footprint of these amplifiers are in the uh, manufacturing process, or the manufacturing part of it. Whereas with any consumer product like this microphone, up to 60% might be in the manufacturing. So you might ask, no, what about the other 97%? What are we doing about that? Well, where is it going to? It's the power that our users use when they use our amplifiers. So to that end, all our newer models consume less power. This one in particular, the new W series, consumes about a quarter of some of our competitors would do. <laughs> and on top of that, behind that touch screen that it will have is a new computer that can keep track of time and will switch off the power of the amplifier if you don't use it, just like the power saving mode of a computer. And on this particular model, the 100% of rated power is available without feet fold back in case of a bad load. So you can actually do more with the same amplifier than before. Again, a power saving that you have there. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, this is just something that you've, you've realized in the last year or so, that these actually are green products. That's correct. They were always like that, but we're making them more so from now on uh, forward. That's great. Yeah. Uh, I, we have some systems that we would like to show off, and we will introduce uh, George Barth for that. All right. Very good. Thank you very much, Nick. It's always good to talk to you. Thank you. But George, you're going to tell us a little bit about this system, right? Yes, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this system. This is... Uh, rather large system that we've designed. Um, this system here is designed uh, primarily for automotive full vehicle testing uh, with 200 watt amplifiers and a 700 watt amplifier in here. We are set up for doing 200 volts meter for full vehicle as well as a 600 volt meter radar pulse test. Uh, each amplifier has a dedicated antenna. Each antenna is on a mast, individually controlled for polarization as well as azimuth up and down as well as elevation. Uh, so again, it's very flexible. All of the amplifiers are mounted inside of a shielded enclosure. This is meant to be put inside the chamber in order to minimize cable losses. So we take the whole thing inside the chamber. Uh, normally there would be doors covering this equipment. Absorber to stop reflections coming back from a large vehicle coming back in here. Uh, rolling platform, very portable, very maneuverable, and very successful for us. We've sold many of these. That's awesome, man. And now the, the, so the frequency range of this system is? This system is a 1 to 18 gigahertz system. 1 to 18 gigahertz, wow. 1 to 4 is the 700 watt amplifier. Again, geared up for the radar pulse testing, so the 1.2 to 1.4 
and the 2.7 to 3.1, that 600 volts meter. It's also used for the 200 volts meter for the CW portion of the test or the pulse portion of the test, but the lower levels. Uh, we have a 2.5 to 7.5 200 watt amplifier, and then we also have a 200 watt 8 to 18, so each coupled with their own antenna. And this is all from primarily for automotive testing? This particular one, it makes sense with the sizes of amps that we've configured for automotive. We've done several of these for MIL-standard 461. Right. Uh, I've increased the power up to 500 watt amplifiers, used it for MIL-standard 464 for the CW portion of that test. Um, it's completely configurable. This, again, is one combination. Every system is different. Talk to your customers, talk to the user, read what specs they have to do, and we'll configure it to do what we need to do. Right. So all you got to do is contact you and talk about what your needs are, and you can put together a system specifically for them. Absolutely. We also do installation and we do training. We'll do as simple as single components or full systems, turnkey, as much as you need. That's terrific. Awesome. Well, George, thanks. It was good catching up with you again. Uh, we're going to talk to you again soon someday. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. And now we got a chance to catch up with Shep. Shep, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing all right. I'm glad to hear that. It's good to see you again. I'm at the, my, I think, about the 40th EMC meeting. Wow. I, I, I missed the first one, but I've been to every other. Every other one but the first one. But I'd, I'd rather talk about AR. Yeah. I, I'm sure that people are aware that AR is a leader in EMC testing equipment. And we have you know, multi-tone testing. We have a fast receiver. We have the world's fastest probe. We have TWT replacements, solid state, of course. But we'll sell you TWTs, but solid state is better. But I, I, I'm proud today to talk about an amplifier. Obviously, we started as an amplifier company, and it's nice to have something new on amplifiers. In fact, I'm expanding the building so that we can test this. We are under contract to build a 50,000 watt amplifier. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of power. And I'm building the building so that we can go to 100,000. It's costing a couple dollars to do this, but uh, we will have the capability that no one in the world has. We can build an amplifier uh, with, in the area of nanosecond rise times so that'll put out 50,000 watts up to 200 megahertz. It's unbelievable. That's impressive. Yeah, well, I started out at two watts, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm proud to be the I guess the first one to tell you that we're, we're going to 50 kilowatts and looking to do more. And this is for testing large objects. And I ultimately expect for testing automobiles because coupled with our multi-tone, you'll be able to do 10 signals at a time at high levels. And they'll be able to cut the co cost of testing automobiles by, by half minimum. Wow, I'm sure they're looking forward to that. for the amplifier, but wow. it'll be reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anything else? I don't know. What else you got going on there at AR? Oh. Well, we're probably going to expand the uh, microelectronics capability, which has taken off recently. Very good. I, I had one of my accountants... Uh, just get some data on what our uh, microelectronics was doing, and it plotted a curve. <laughs> of course, it started very low, right. but uh, it's, it's up a couple hundred percent this year. Wow. So we're all excited about that, and that's why I'm making more room for them. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> By the way, we're looking for microelectronics assemblers, if you know any. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you play this in the... Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania for us. Pennsylvania area. So the, the <laughs> microelectronics assemblers call Shep. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is new? I don't know. Well, We're going ahead with our development of a system software, our receiver software. Uh, we're pressing ahead to TWT replacements. We have equipment solid state to 18 gigahertz. And we're showing at this show. 0.7 to 6 gigahertz at 
200 watts. Price is a couple TWTs. Right, we got the chance to look at that earlier. It's a pretty impressive oh, amplifier. Okay. Yes, yes. So anyway, I'm proud of where we are. Very good. Well, Chef, it's always good to talk to you. It's good to catch up with you again, and hopefully we'll see you next year in North Carolina. Oh, me too. If I'm alive, I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> this is Steve Coster from Espresso Engineering in Denver saying talk to you later. <laughs>